Hi, hi, what's up? I'm reading a new chapter of Kaviyasama. I've been reading this only for, oh boy, like two weeks. <laughs> I, I really marathoned it. Um, at first, I, I was like kind of interested in the series. People were pretty positive about the, the anime and quite excited for when it came out. The manga has fantastic reviews on Manga Dex. It's got a whopping 9.25. <clears throat> and usually I find the ratings on this site are, are quite meaningful, like that people actually put some thought into the ratings and the people that, that rate a lot of series read a lot of series and that the, the algorithm is sort of like balanced to favor people with these educated opinions. At any rate, all I'm saying is that it's a good way to find manga, just searching through the, the top rated stuff and looking for things that interest you. It hasn't let me down yet. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of reasons to read the series. I didn't really expect all that much from it, though. I, I don't know. I just thought it would be very funny. Like, it would just be, like, a really funny love comedy, right? Um, but, oh, man, I don't need to tell you if you read the series. And if you haven't read the series, I'm not sure why you're watching this video. But this, ooh, you go through some stuff with this one. Um, and it doesn't really stray that far off of its kind of rom-com trappings and the comedy and, and the love of the characters and stuff, but it's, it gets pretty emotional and pretty intense, and, uh, and I gotta say, I'm, I'm blown away. Um, I thought I could just kind of read it here and there until I got cut up, but I was addicted. I was just addicted. I couldn't stop myself. So now we're caught up, and I thought I'd start reading the new chapters along with everyone else. Uh, so the first one we're reading is actually not the latest, but I'm too behind. This one is 162. The New Game Student... New Game Student Council. Okay. So yeah, in the previous one, a very strange chapter, Mackie went to India. <laughs> um, power stone. I don't understand if anyone could actually buy one of these. It's just a cheap rock. <laughs> Brutal, but okay. And then behind there, this is the senpai that uh, Ishigami asked out, right? I guess she has something like that. And this is shopping with the president's sister. Oh, no, no. Not with the president's sister, sorry. With uh, Hayasaka. <laughs> this is really nice! Oh my god, like... This... <laughs> I, I didn't realize just how satisfied I would be that, that it, it actually, the relationship had a happy end. They actually just start going out. Oh, oh, I'm so happy for them. I am just so, so, so happy for them. And and all of these little scenes are going to get going forward. There's going to be so, so, so many more of people like finding out of all of their various firsts as a couple. And every one of them is just going to have all of that emotional energy behind it. It's it's gonna have all of those dozens and dozens of chapters, volumes and volumes of tension and one step forward and two steps back. And, and now it's all happening. Ah. Ah. <laughs> She's just going off. Oh, this is, this is, very subtly well done, that the background starts kind of like fading away from Hayasaka. <laughs> uh, wow, she's had enough. Her persona is slipping away. Who knows what mode she's in now. This is perhaps the cruelest thing that Kaguya has done to her yet. It's like, do you think she kind of has feelings for the president? There was all of her adventures trying to seduce him to prove a point. During that, do you think maybe she began to understand his charm a little bit? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I hope she finds someone. Hmm. A couple of like that make me jealous. What's going to happen with uh, Fujiwara? Is she going to get a romantic plotline too? Somehow I kind of doubt it. She's sort of like uh, Majime. Imagine, man, man, you know, in, in Komi-san, sort of transcendent. <laughs> Part of me that wants to be forced into a kiss by someone else. Whoa! Hayasaka, man! Yuri End! Yuri End! Actually, Fuji, Fujiwara said explicitly, oh, I'm straight. 
in like a few chapters ago. I was so disappointed. I thought this was maybe the best route for Yuri End, but eh, there probably just won't be a Yuri End in this series. Oh! Oh yeah, so they were shopping at the mall, that's right, and like all of the dangerous people appeared at once. Was that resolved? I don't think so. So yeah, they run into Dad. Kaguya gives it away just with one action. Very nice. I'm here for work. Whoa. Wow. What what work does he have? Before he was doing shady... Yeah, that's right. He was the one that sold the power stone to the senpai. That's right. That's right. <sighs> oh, the interweaving of this series is just fantastic. All of these little plot lines coming together in, in such unexpected ways. Study abroad. So, she's told the principal what she wants to do. She hasn't told her family yet. I'm sure that will be quite a dramatic arc. Um, but this is the schema for getting into Stanford, I guess. You can see here the SAT. They need a perfect 1600. I don't know what the heck is going on with the rest of this stuff. Over here looks like a diagram of like a pig drawing a carriage or something. I don't know. Let me find a way to fill the gaps in your application. All of these from the very beginning. So we wonder if your family is preparing you for this path from the very beginning. Ooh. Hmm. That would be a nice resolution. Like, we've already seen firsthand some cruelty from Kaguya's family. So it's not like they can just kind of retcon all of that and be like, all along, they just wanted for your happiness. Head off to Stanford with our blessing. It's going to be a little more complicated than that. But I think in the end, it's going to be kind of a message of like, oh, we always knew that something like this would be possible. Like, what we really wanted to equip you to do was to be able to do anything. And so in the end, the fact that you can get into Stanford even is just in line with our, our kind of broadest expectations. Something like that. I don't know. It's also interesting to me that Stanford is like the be-all, end-all. This mega hard school to get into. I have friends that go to Stanford. <laughs> I have friends that are as cool as Kaguya-sama. I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kaguya is so cool. <laughs> All that's left is your personal statement. There's so much time left, so you should hurry. Ah... That's right, that's right. He had it all prepped. The extra letter of recommendation. Oh, Kaguya! She's so in love. Oh my god, I love it. I love Kaguya's love for the president. Ha ah, ha ha. So now these two meet up. I wish for some time. I wish for world peace. Oh, Fujiwara. That's good, because you're going to be prime minister someday. You know that it's going to end with Fujiwara as prime minister, right? Like, there's no way that's just a throwaway gag. She's definitely going to become prime minister. Can't tell you my wish, though. Say if your wish aloud, it will come true. <laughs> okay, I really like that. This, that's, I've never seen that gag before, actually. Because the, oh, I wish for world peace, that's a common gag. And I can't tell you my wish because it won't come true. That's a common gag. But this fusion of, oh no, I accidentally doomed the Earth's chances for world peace. That's pretty good. I really like her uh, face in this middle panel, too. It's pretty good. Might become the thumbnail. New Year. Mm. So we get a glimpse of Kaguya's family, which again I think will become a very focal point. In a future arc. This is probably the first time we've seen his, her brother, I think. Unless he's in like the background of some other shot. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. For now, I'll keep playing the obedient little sister. This is going to be quite... So it's kind of like, I think, a lot of the scheming energy. You know, back when they were coming up with all of these elaborate plans to force the other one to confess. 
that sort of structure is still going to remain, and a lot of the same kind of humor and tension and fun from that, but it's going to be converted more into how to convince Kaguya's family to let her go overseas, something like that. <clears throat> Okay, so the gamer bros are hanging out. Isn't honestly considering the other person's feelings the most important? Receiving unwarranted affection is the worst. Some sort of justification before you can do that. Otherwise, that sort of love is just shy of harassment. Okay, my justification is hard though. It's not like I'm a coward or anything, but it's hard to flirt without making the other person dislike you. True, 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 but at the same time, no. <laughs> I think this is overthinking. This is the the real crippling weakness of Ishigami. Is that he is overthinking. I'll make them confess to me. That's what I used to think. Hmm. Myself to the bone. I guess you could say I left a good impression on her. So the Prez is kind of giving away what's happening here. I don't think he's told Ishigami yet. But there's only so many people he could be talking about. And when he says, left a good impression on her, it's quite the statement. If you can't say you like them, you should do everything in your power to get people to like you. What about ways of doing things? Yeah, I think this is really good advice, though. I, I think this really is the only way to do it. Because when it comes down to it, your inability to confess, whether or not it's because you think you're unworthy, whether or not it's because you, you don't have a good enough justification, or just because you're simply like nervous, uh, you just don't have the confidence to, by taking steps to just become a better person, a more likable person, like you will gain that confidence, right? Like it's not just about making them confess to you, but building up the confidence of like, oh, but I've done this and this and this, I've been considerate, I've been kind, I've been motivated, I've been whatever. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's kind of, yeah, this, this is understandable. Hmm. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Oh my god! That's beautiful! She bought him a diary and then left notes. That's, that's both beautiful and brilliant. What a wonderful way to get over so much of your anxiety all in one fell swoop. So many incidents that normally would have required like a five chapter arc to try to set up. She just preemptively asks him out to all of them. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hmm. Pointless trying to get a humane reaction. This one is on to you. Oh, oh, a necklace. Aw, how nice. Just a nice, simple crescent moon necklace. I think the crescent moon represents Kaguya quite well. Kind of sharp and intense. The greater part of it hidden away. Huh? Why does Link Ladder? I don't get it. What? Gave him a notebook during Christmas, and I said I would give him one next year as well. That's his response. I don't get it. I don't get it. The period of this pendulum is 0.9992. Each swing is equivalent to a second. Ah. Aww. As a pendulum to count time. Wow. How nice. <laughs> what error are you guys from again? Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, cool. And now I know the formula for working out the period of a pendulum. The time interval is equal to 2 pi times the square root of the length of the chord divided by g, the universal constant of gravity. Uh, so does the units work out with this? Because that's like meters per second per second. And length divided by that, you remove the meters, and then you take the square root of second by second, which is just second. Yeah, so that works out the seconds. Hey, cool! I learned math! <laughs>
A new game arc has ended. Today onwards, it's a new semester. Looks like a lot has happened. <laughs> I actually broke her dang arm. Something about that, I don't know. I thought that was just such an interesting plot point. Like, of course, it was very emotionally motivated, and it, it had all sorts of significance in the little arc itself. But the fact now that she goes around with her arm in a sling and stuff, it's just such a funny little visual thing. <sighs> a lot happened between you two as well. Sure did. Let's have a successful third semester. So, ah, uh, yes, should I tell them about Shio, Mia, and me? A good one. Definitely lose weight this semester. A perennial. Probably not that plot relevant. Oh, okay. Tsubame Senpai did confess to me. An absolute classic of the series. Any statement with that structure is going to lead to hijinks. Not sure what the morals committee officer is thinking. Get the chest out of Chris President. <laughs> She's just become obsessed. It's going to be a wild ride from here on. All right. Fun. I'm down. This is a good place to start reading on the channel, I guess, because we're, we're opening up a whole new world of arcs and adventures and goals for all of the characters. So, yeah. Oh, what a lovely series. Okay. We have another one to read right away. So please join me for that tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.